Hey, what's up, dudes? Are we here? Are we live? Hey, this is the Guitar ASMR Show. It's where we play the guitar, hang out, and uh, do demos. It's pretty cool. So, hey, smash that subscribe button if you're brand new here. Smash that thumbs up. And let's let's hang out for a little bit. Okay, does that sound cool? All right. We got sound. We got sound. All right, let's do this. What show is this? Stu Ham? Hey, this is Stu Ham, and you're watching Johnny Bean. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, you guys? Johnny Bean here, Guitar ASMR Show. We got sound. We got guitar. We got vocal mic. Good. Welcome, you guys. If this is your first time here, my name is Johnny Bean. This is a show where I demonstrate products, uh, instruments. We do reviews. So again, if you like guitars, if you like guitar stuff, this is the place you want to be, the Guitar ASMR Show. Sundays, currently I'm doing this 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Sometimes I do them a little earlier, sometimes a little later. But uh, lately it's been about, uh, about this time. So very cool. So hey, before we get started, let's say hello to the top tier of channel members here on Johnny Bean YouTube channel. Channel membership is a great way to help support the channel and support these shows. The top tier are the executive producers. They are currently Sherman Callahan, CC, Nova 9, Michael Smith, Music Therapy, Laz, R. Habs, Warlag, Fairfield Guitar Co., Majestic, PB, and J. Cat. We actually played uh, some uh, video games last night. It was pretty cool. And Janice Lala, the intern. Janice, I see you in the chat. You're a channel member. Your name is in green. I see you. There you are. Where? Right here. There you are. Everybody say hello to Janice in the chat. And I need new batteries. I just bought batteries for this guitar, actually. I should have bought batteries for this. Well, why does that one work? And why does that one work? But the applause doesn't. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, good. Oh, where is it? There we go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Let's say hello to some people here. Janice is here. Uh, Ron, Ron is here. Hey, good to see you, man. We got uh, Stream Elements. Thank you, Stream Elements. We are live on Twitch. Peggy is here. Good to see you. We got T Fetch. It was not, it's not formally T Fetch. It's T Fetch himself. Good to see you. Thank you. Stream Elements. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rick Green. Thank you, man. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What do we normally do here? We say hello to the channel members. We, we tell you guys that we're live on uh, YouTube, which obviously we, we are. We're looking to get to 12K YouTube subscribers. That's the next goal. So if you're brand new here, yes, yeah, smash that, that subscribe button. We're also on Facebook. We got Facebook stars. You can help support the channel. 
We're live in the exclusively Van Halen group at 63,000 members. We're live in the EVH Gear Fans Live group, uh, the Johnny Bean TV group. We are live on Twitch. This is a podcast on Spotify, and we're basically everywhere. So exclamation point S in the chat, please, somebody. We'll give you all our different links to uh, everywhere. iHeartRadio, uh, Spotify, Cameo. You want a Cameo video? I'll make a, a video for you. And uh, if you'd like to help support the channel uh, in other ways, uh, something pretty cool uh, called Super Chats is a pretty neat thing. And what that does is that changes the color of my lights, which is a pretty, uh, actually a pretty, pretty neat thing. You can actually change these lights in real time while we are live and get your question and comment or comment highlighted during the show. But uh, if you also like to help out, uh, PayPal is an option and there's a link down below in the description of this video on YouTube. So let's let's do this, you guys. Check this out. I, I was uh, telling you guys about this guitar a couple nights ago. I was telling you guys I have this thing. It's called the Court Effector. If you look at this, there you go. This particular one is a three by three. 3x3 three three headstock, 3x3 three three headstock, and it has two pickups. Although one thing I will say about this guitar is you can't, uh, as far as I, I've tried, both pickups are on at the same time. You can't switch in between the pickups. They're just always on. And actually, I found another video where somebody was demonstrating one of these, and I left, I left them a, a, I dropped a comment in their comment section saying, hey, I have the same guitar. Are you, how did you, are you able to switch between pickups? He must have modified the guitar if, uh, if that's the case. But, but if you want to check this out, you guys, Explorer Body. And uh, the thing about these guitars where it's like, wow, that's awesome, is there's built-in effects in the guitar so we are going to try some of those and this guitar this guitar is basically from from the uh mid 80s ish from what i can find online i'm seeing ones they're saying they're from 83 from 85 from 86 there's all different headstock uh variations different colors this particular guitar I got at a pawn shop in Oakland, California. I want to say in 1997, I got this. And I got it for, I want to say I got it for $75. <laughs> but one of the bad things is uh, it has some cracks in the neck. But what I did was I, I put some glue. I put some wood glue in there. And again, this goes back to the late 90s. Whoa, there we go. See, late 90s, I did this. If you can see, it has some cracks there. Yeah, you can still see some of the glue. Oh, my gosh. That goes back to 1997, I did that. So it's not, it's not the greatest looking. It's not the greatest looking, but it works. Apparently, the guitar works. There you go. And what I also did was I, I put... Uh, uh goto locking tuners on it so these are these are locking tuners Let's see the back let's say goto when you play a guitar that's this shape it's kind of tough to to move it around it's a little weird there you go oh i didn't realize that sticker was on there i didn't put that that sticker was on the guitar when i got it all these stickers on the guitar were here when I got the guitar. I did not put these stickers on that. And there's this down here. But very cool. So let's get to it, you guys. Let's let's demonstrate. OK, so let me just say the delay that you're hearing that is coming from my, my board. That's not coming from the guitar. 
I always have that delay on, on that side all the time when I when I do these shows. So play some Metallica. <sighs> There you go. Thank you. <laughs> now, now we're getting banned. That's okay. All right, let's check this out, you guys. Built-in effects. Look at this. There's a phase switch. And let's just go through each one as we do this. So, uh, phase. <laughs> Here's no phase. Here's the phase. You can hear that, right? It has a phase switch. That's pretty cool. The rest of the stuff, let's see if it works. I had it working earlier. Here, let's do let's do that. How's that? What did I just do? Now, that, that effect is coming from the guitar. <laughs> Lewis, I see that coming. So according to these buttons here, you have to have at least a combination of them going for, for to to get the effects to work. So as you can see, okay, there's a red LED. That's how you know it's working. By the way, the, the guitar, the guitar, I sprayed the electronics out. I didn't spray the the jack. I probably should have. You have to have two nine volt uh, nine volt batteries in there to get the effects to work. The guitar will play as just a regular guitar without them. I think, but you have to have batteries in there for the effects. So there you go. As you can see, the strings go through the back. And I'll admit, these strings have probably been on here a while. So I don't know. That uh, That's one upgrade I did, the bridge. That bridge there, that, that was definitely an upgrade to the guitar. I did that many years ago. And so, okay, so there's the effects. You heard the phase switch. You see there's a, a switch below that says normal and effects. Obviously, you press that. Where is it? It's regular. Phase, there we go. I wish you guys could see this, but here. I wish you guys could see the guitar. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go, man. All right, so you turn the effects on like that. It sounds like, it almost sounds like it has, it has like a wah pedal sound going and like, like a, a vibrato or something. Ian, look at this thing, man. Has three knobs. I put tone knobs on each of them years and years and years ago. One's a volume, one's a tone, one is a speed knob. See, it says speed. So that's for the, uh, the speed of the effect. So let's say with this particular effect, which I'm assuming is the vibrato,
Now that's coming from the guitar. Oh, there's the vibrato right there. I guess it has two different settings. Now if I combine that with delay from outside, such as this, the combinations are awesome. Look at this. reason you have to have the delay button pushed in to get the effects to work but i don't even hear a delay maybe maybe it's like a slight slap back but some of that is coming from anyway well there's a wah pedal okay so it has it has a combination of wah vibrato there you go and then it says there's chorus too. I really don't hear chorus there, but and if I hit a pedal, we got chorus. So probably the coolest part of the effects on this guitar is it has built-in distortion. As you can see, the bottom button right there, distortion. So you hit that. Here's without it, which there is some distortion going. Turn some of this off. Okay, that's without it. There we go. And uh, again, both pickups have to be on at the same time. So it makes it very muddy. Stock pickups, yes, Lewis. Those are stock, as you can see. No adjustable slugs. But this is the distortion in the guitar. Again, very muddy because both pickups. I had a, a 50 cent piece sitting here. I found this when I was at the NAM show. I found this in the parking lot when I parked one of the days in the garage. I found this on the ground and it, it's been in my pocket like ever since. So both pickups are always on. So it's kind of a problem, but. Of course, I can use other pedals, other effects, you know, other delays, you know. I 
Again, that's outside the guitar. But yeah, it's a great looking guitar. Okay, so that's the wah effect. It is truly a horrible sounding. Well, $75 at a uh, at a pawn shop. So, thankfully, you can play the guitar without the effects. And you can use whatever distortions outside of it you want. Why would they not have a pickup selector switch? I know, that it doesn't make sense to me. There isn't one. There isn't one. Both pickups are on all the time. It's been frustrating. Well, I mean, this isn't my main guitar, so it, it really hasn't been that big a deal for a lot of years. It's just always been like, huh? But like I said, I found a video where somebody else played one of these, and they were switching in between, so they must have modified the guitar. That was something that that would have been good. Yeah. Yeah. Not a bad deal. $75, you know, for these things. I'm seeing these things online going for $1,000. You know? Again, there's the phase switch, which is pretty cool. I was telling you guys the other night about my favorite chord. It is glued in, and it's literally glued in. It's literally, man, I haven't played an Explorer for years. And so it's really weird having the, having to like flip it over and stuff. It's glued in. There was some like damage there and I had put some glue in there like years and years and years ago. You can still see it. Like I, I never, it's not like the greatest repair job. But something that is really cool about this guitar is it has the, um, it has kind of the vintage binding, which, you know, these days looks kind of cheap and weird. But if you're into that, it's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Look at that. It has the binding that goes all the way up. Here, let's switch to this one. can see the binding right there goes all the way down it's on it's on both sides actually both sides of the guitar or the neck and around the entire top of the uh of the body oh look the output it says output jack Look at that. That's cool. The guitar, really, it's really not a bad, it's really not a bad guitar. Like I said, um, you don't need the effects that are in it. I mean, it's just, it's, you know, it's just what, how, how it came. You know, back in the day, it was kind of a new thing. You, you don't need the effects. 
to play the guitar. I mean, if this had a, a three-way switch, it would be great. And I, could, I would play this guitar as a regular guitar. Like I said, uh, locking tuners are great. This bridge was definitely an upgrade to what was on it before, you know. But here, I'll show you guys. I mean, you guys know what explorers look like, but there it is. There you go. cool put some mj pickups in it and you're good to go yeah i mean the thing is i mean i guess you could upgrade the pickups right you just have to solder them in to the the there's a there's a board in there that has the the effects like when i opened it up earlier to spray it out it had a uh what do you call it there's a bunch of wires there's a bunch of stuff in there I wouldn't mess with it myself, but very cool. So there you go. Let's actually, let's do this. I think I played through each effect, didn't I? It's got the phase, it's got the phase switch, which just does like a phase sound. Right? Circuit board, yeah, yeah. So it sounds like the main effect is really the vibrato. That's really what you hear. So that's the guitar. Then it has a speed knob. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use the effects in this guitar for major effects for for performance I would not I would turn them off <laughs> and use the effects down here on the board you know if I had to but again when you have both pickups on at the same time it's just, it's such a muddy sound. It's, it's really not, it's, it's not, I mean, it's really not inspiring. But it's fun. It's fun. You know, it looks cool. Looks cool. There you go. That's pretty that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the guitar. What we can do Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's actually look at uh the internet because that's uh we have access to the internet, you guys. And let's let's look at some other versions of this guitar. It 
If that fell over, it really wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't. Okay, let's get rid of this camera. There we go. We're still here. You guys can still hear me, right? Let's jump over here. Present. Let's grab the, uh, the laptop here. A 7 or 10 band EQ would cut the lows, and that would cut out the muddy frequencies. That's a good idea. That's, that's, that's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, the guitar, it's, it's more just kind of fun, like, like to play for like a few minutes. It's really not something to, yeah, I mean, maybe for, maybe recording, you could get some, get some cool stuff. Share screen. I had a window open here. There we go. Which one do we want to look at? There should be photos of other ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's tons of them. Let's check these out. You guys should be able to see that. There you go. Okay, so this this is similar to mine right here, but different headstock. So there's ones that have Explorer headstocks. Like that. It looks like the majority of them had the, uh, the six in line headstock. See, here's mine again, but six in line headstock. Okay, here's mine here, 3 by 3 headstock. Here's a red one. That's pretty cool. Here's a, a black one. Yeah, so they're saying 1984. That says 1980. I don't think the guitar is that old. The guitar seems like it's more like 83. 384, 85-ish. Mark's gas station. Yeah, see, we're seeing a lot of these white ones, like mine, and they're all uh, six in line. Like the Explorer-style headstock. Looks like maybe they even had a, a Strat. Court S strat style that's that's pretty cool what bridge is that oh my gosh oh that's a Kaler oh my goodness this one has a Kaler on it has the effects hmm it seems like the one that I have is more rare because of the headstock. Most of these photos I'm seeing, it's all uh, six in line. The majority of them. This says 90s? Nah, it's not 90s. See, a lot, a lot of this, a lot of the uh, descriptions here are not correct. Not 90s at all. That is not 90s. Definitely mid 80s. I would say 84, 85. I'd say 83, 84 is when these probably were originally. Uh... Let's see. Let's let's check out. Let's just check out one of these. See what it says. Vintage 80s Court Effector Explorer electric guitar. Needs one tuner. They were selling it for 135 Yeah, see, there, that's like mine right there. Exactly. But different headstock. Yeah, and that's the bridge that mine had. Two hundred and thirty dollars. 
Oh, wait, you can't see that. Hang on. They wanted 230 bucks for that one with free shipping. Yeah, this this looks this is almost identical to mine. Mine had those knobs on it, I remember. Yeah, that I think that was the original bridge. Wait a minute. That can't be, that can't be the case. No. No, mine was not a, a there was no tremolo bridge. Mine's mine's a Mine's a, a hardtail. So it looks like they had different ones. Okay, there's a close-up of, of all that. See, so you got the phase, normal effects that turns it on and off. Delay, vibrato. So it looks like if, if, the, if, if, the, uh, if one button is up, it's the top one. If it's down, it's the bottom effect. But the delay and the vibrato, there really wasn't much of a difference. Broomster, you remember these guitars? You remember that? Oh, Janice, you have you have a quartz strat? Hang on. Let's see. Did you WhatsApp it? Yeah. Yeah, I remember those, Janice. Yeah, that that's 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 a uh Janice the intern has a court strat. It's the same company. Court. Is that a drum machine up there or a drum pad? That's cool. Yeah, there you go. Has the court and it kind of has the Kramer headstock. I remember those. It's kind of like the Kramer beak headstock. Janice, that's cool. So there you can see the uh, the effects. Like I said, between the delay and the vibrato, there wasn't much of a difference. The wah pretty much has like a higher toned wah and a lower toned wah. But it's almost like a wah pedal. It's just kind of like on a little bit. It's not like an actual wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and the chorus, I could barely hear anything with the chorus. The distortion, you can definitely hear. But again, when, you're, when you have a guitar that has two pickups and you can't, sw when they're both on all the time, having distortion just makes it, just makes more mud. And it's, it's not good. Really not a good thing. This particular one has the, uh, the six in line. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at this. A note on the built-in effects. And this is just from uh, somebody that's that was selling one on Reverb at one point. It's a pretty unique guitar, which which is true. The built-in effects require two nine-volt batteries. That's true. They are operated from a series of push buttons. Some of the effects are on the the subtle subtle side, namely the chorus. Fiber. Yeah, like like there's not much of a difference really between some of them it's almost like there's more of like a, like one's brighter um okay they're saying what they're saying here is the delay sounds more like a tremolo so okay so okay yeah i think i noticed that too and they're saying it's it's maybe not a studio grade guitar but it's just kind of fun 
I mean, this was something that that was made, you know, years ago. And so, you know, the, um, you know, these days you can get something much, much cooler. Um, let's look at one more, one more thing. And then are we doing a giveaway? Do you guys want to win something? What should we give away? I have another one of those Jimi Hendrix guitar picks. Thank you again, B9. I found another one. You guys want to win a Jimi Hendrix guitar pick? You can win this. It's the Hendrix, Hendrix Experience Tribute Tour, October, November 20... Does that say 2010? Authentic Hendrix Dunlop. You guys... You guys want to? You guys want to win this? We'll make it easier tonight. We'll we'll just do uh, between zero and a thousand. Okay. You can type your numbers in now. Actually, let, no. Let's let's put let's put uh, two thousand, and you guys can start. There we go. Okay, between zero and two thousand. Enter your numbers now. Between zero and two thousand. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Between zero and 2,000, you can win the Jimi Hendrix guitar pick. All right. So I'll put that right here. Actually, I'll throw in a, a Johnny Bean. I just found a whole bunch of my guitar picks. Actually, in the case with that guitar, I found a whole bag of of my own picks these are my own johnnybean.com look at this i'll throw in one of these as well i found a whole bag of these things and here's how far back some of these go some of these actually say add me on myspace <laughs> which hasn't been around in decades well i mean I mean, nobody's over there, at least. Look at that. Add me on MySpace. This pick goes back to, like, oof, I don't know, 2007? So we'll throw in the more current one, the johnnybean.com, which does exist. You can go over there. You can go to the website. You can check it out. That's my own pick. So, a couple guitar picks for you guys tonight. There we go. We'll do that. All right. Let's look at one more, one more guitar here. That one's kind of cool. I mean, there's a there's a red one. Is this a website? Let's go here. This, oh, this guy's talking about it. Oh, cool. Let's go to this one. How do I share? Share the screen. This one, that one though. Let's go here. The Further Adventures of Captain Eddie. Just happened to find this website just now. 1980s Court Effector Explorer Body Shape. This is from May 22nd, 2011. This guy's saying, very cool guitar, even if the effects didn't work, which is kind of like what I was saying, too. Even if the, even if the effects don't work, the guitar is, st the guitar, it's not a bad guitar. The effects are just kind of fun. And I can see if you're a beginning guitarist back in the 80s, having something like this, if you didn't have any effects pedals, if you just had a button in your guitar, instant distortion, it's cool. It's very cool. Okay, found this guy in a local pawn shop. Same as what I did. Played and sounded surprisingly good. Unfortunately, the effects didn't work. Oh, okay. He's saying his effects didn't work in his guitar. There were a couple of broken wires and apparently other things as well. I tinkered a little bit. Uh, reconnected the wires and still got no effects. Okay, so with, with him, his effects never worked. Well, that, well that's, not, that's not good. Hmm. But it's the same guitar as mine. Look at the headstock. It's the three by three. It's just red. 
and it's got the same style bridge on it. That's pretty cool. 1980s court effector, explorer, body shape, front. There's the back of the headstock. There's the back of the body. You got the battery. Yeah, th this is this is my guitar. This is definitely my guitar too. But in red. That's actually not doesn't look like a bad bridge on his. Very cool. Look at that. And I, d I don't see... Um, does he say anything? Are you still trying to sell? Oh, people are asking. People are asking him about if he's selling that. Okay. Again, no switch to switch in between pickups. So both pickups are just always on. Muddy tone. I'll give you guys a hint. It's four digits. So there's one in red. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there is mine. There you go. So that's about it, really. The court uh, eff effector. I think they may have, have had a, a flying V as well. Do we want to look for one of those real quick? We should, huh? Because I had put explorer. Let's take the word explorer out. And see what else we can find. I'm thinking they had another one. Oh, there's a yellow one. Oh, that's cool. I'm thinking they had a, a flying V as well, because I think I saw one at one point in a in a shop years ago. Hmm, I'm not seeing one here. Let me see. Flying V. Oh, wait, no. Court flying V. Okay, they made flying V's. Oh, is this one right here? Okay, they made a flying V that looks identical, but I don't see the I don't see any, any effects. Here, I'll show that to you guys. Four digits. Court Flying V 1980s. Yeah, that's that's my guitar, but a V. That's pretty cool. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. But no effects, and it has a, a switch to switch in between pickups. That's like the best part of it. Mine doesn't have that. Hmm. Lewis, you were you were very close. <laughs> Four digits. Uh let me think. Uh, the number may have be been, uh, no, that doesn't make sense. I'm trying to give you guys another hint. Hey, Mike Wood. I'm trying to give you guys a hint, but I, I can't. It's four digits. Let me just say, uh, 
the first two numbers are one and nine. You have to guess the next two. All right. So there you go. There you go. I think. I think we're cool. Oh, they did do some flying Vs with the effects. Oh, crap. I just shut the window. Let me show. Okay, let's let's show one of those real quick. Court flying V80s. Originally white, poorly refinished in blue. Oh, gross. Ew. Oh, there's no effects on that. Okay, forget it. Forget that one. All right. It's all good. We're good. We're good, you guys. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm already mailing you something from the other day, so okay. I will include those in your package. Sean, you got it. You got it. The winning number was 1940. You got it. All right. You already won something. You What did you win? You won the guitar strap. So I'll be, I'll be including these guitar picks in with that. Okay, I'll put that right here. There we go. Let me just make a note. Hey, you're welcome, man. Thank you so much for watching these shows. See, people, people win around here. Thank you for tuning in and watching this stuff. Okay, let me just add a, a note here really quickly. Jimi Hendrix and Johnny Bean guitar picks. Got it. Wait, which one? Which one? The one that you want? Hendrix, listening to White Stratocaster. Okay, because I'm mailing out two different ones, and I just have to make sure which one, which one is the one that you got. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know uh, the guitar was kind of weird, but hey, that that's that's how we do around here. We like uh, we like weird stuff. Thank you to our channel members. Thank you for your continued support for this channel and these shows. You guys are awesome. Thank you again. I will see you guys tomorrow from Guitar Center. So make sure you tune in. I'll be featuring something from there. I don't know. We'll be hanging out for a little bit tomorrow. We usually hang out for about 30 minutes to an hour on Mondays. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And don't forget Tuesday, exclusively Van Halen, 8 p.m. Eastern. And what else? What else are we doing? I was going to do something. Oh, I think next week. Next uh, Saturday night. We'll be doing a giveaway for the Locato uh, Wireless. Next Saturday night. So subscribe to the channel. Join us. Next Saturday night we'll be giving these away. Okay? All right. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Johnny Bean TV, and uh, goodbye. Thank you, first of all, very much for joining us. Uh, but Thank now you. we've got Johnny. Hello, Johnny. Hi, how are you? Is that Johnny Bean? Yes. Hey, man, how are you? <laughs> hey, good to see you, man. It's been a while. Are you still living in San Francisco? <laughs> yep. <laughs> You guys, you guys know each other? You guys I, hang I, out? I, I bet it. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Uh, what's your question, John? You're watching Johnny Bean TV. I'm Ole England, the guy with the, the face. I'm the live stream right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, this is Billy Sheehan. You're watching Johnny Bean TV. Okay, ready? Ready. Hola, amigos. This is your bass player, Billy Sheehan. You're watching me right here. I'm my dear friend. John, uh, I, you, you, it went away. Oh no! Uh, uh, Johnny Bean. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ryan Salazar. You're watching Johnny Bean TV. Hi, 
Hi, this is Leland Sklar, and you are watching Johnny Bean TV. It doesn't get better. Take my word for it. Hey, it's Phil Henry here, radio legend. That's right. And you are watching and listening to Johnny Bean TV because I love it. And there's not a lot I love. <laughs>